Um, hi, I'm Suzanne Gluin. I am the bid manager at South End Bid. I'm Dr. Barak Pankania, senior clinical lecturer at University of Exeter Medical School. My specialism is infectious disease control and outbreak management. I have been doing this for over 20 years. This week, obviously, lots of our retail and hospitality businesses have started to reopen and also some leisure ones as well. They've taken extensive um, work in terms of understanding what the risks are to both their staff and their customers. And they've um, mitigated those through using their hands, face and space um, methods. Is there anything that you think that customers should be wary of when um, entering into the businesses now? Yes, thank you, Suzanne. Uh, my advice is very simple. Uh, don't drop your guard. This is uh, your responsibility, your health, your health and well-being. Therefore, you make the assessments and you make the decisions and you always think, I must not get infected. So what would I do? I would look at a place and if the place doesn't look right, don't go in. Uh, your health is much more important than going into any place that doesn't look right. A, a place that looks right will be like this. It will have windows open. It will have free flow of air. It will have fewer uh, number of people in there. Uh, it will be a premises that is controlling the number of people in that place at any one time. It will be indicative of the staff wearing good quality masks properly. And it is up to you as well to also wear a good quality, a higher specification mask properly, covering your nose and mouth properly, properly fitted. And what you do is you go into these premises, but don't linger. You, your, your mission is to go in there, do your business and get out as soon as possible because uh, you need to remain away from crowds, away from being close to other people and away from closed indoor spaces as much as you can. That's great. Some of the things you mentioned there are definitely what our businesses have been working on. So in terms of, you know, hands and keeping yourself clean, a lot of premises have, you know, hand sanitizer right by the door, but they also have them dotted around and prominent signs saying, keep your hands clean. Um, and then in terms of face, you know, all the staff are wearing face coverings. And if they see someone who is not wearing a face covering from the customers, then, you know, they're prompting them to put that on because, you know, it's both for the safety of that person and everyone in the side. And then in terms of space, so like you said, it's, it's about the capacities and a lot of the stores and the retail businesses and the, you know, pubs and hospitality, they have queue management systems in place. So they have queuing systems outside and they have people on the front of the door just managing how many they can get to come in their business. So yeah, people have done a lot of work to make sure that everyone's keeping safe at this time. My my further additional advice on um, keeping your hands clean is there is nothing better than warm soapy water to wash and clean your hands followed by a paper towel to thoroughly dry it. So it's clean dry hands that is the best. And only when you cannot wash your hands frequently does the alcohol hand gel come into its use. So the alcohol hand gel is not a substitute for otherwise clean, dry hands. So my advice to people is you clean and dry your hands as frequently as you can. And when you cannot do that, uh, the alcohol hand gel is also a good substitute. But a additional preventative protective measure is develop a habit of not introducing your dirty hand. Consider your hand always to be dirty. Do not introduce that dirty hand to your nose and mouth. That is also a good habit to develop. So, you know, don't go around fiddling with your mouth and nose, but more importantly, keep it clean. And the one way to keep it clean is frequent washing with warm soap and water and drying it with a paper towel.